All right, so this is uh, this is our second time filming this one because somehow we lost the first one. Boo boo! I don't know if there's anything more annoying than that. Having to refilm. It's almost like losing a life, which this episode of Tales of the Crypt was all about. Oh, wow, clever. Yes. Dig that cap. He's real gone. I think I remember. Episode three, and it starred an actor I knew really well. I know. Joe Pantoliano. He's from uh, The Matrix, or at least the first one. I was never really into that movie, so that's why Michael knows the actor and I don't. I, I love seeing these actors like 20 years before we grew up with them. 1989 this was made Big they're before they're famous essentially yes so it's a really cool episode um about a man who uh who's kind of down on his luck and all of a sudden uh, a strange experiment grants him the powers of nine lives mm-hmm. he was actually a hobo i guess so he had nothing really going for him and was able to take his chance with this mad scientist um, who worked with the circus. That was like the thing that I loved about it. it was like a circus freak show vibe, like from back in the day. So he was looking for new acts for the freak show. And this mad scientist had, um, his experiment was basically taking the nine lives from a cat and transferring them to this guy, the main character. It says here it was just a group of cells. I thought it was a piece of the cat's brain, but uh, somehow we just transported that characteristic of cats into him and he became a stuntman working in the uh, the circus. Now, there was a lot of actual actors in this that I'd known from a bunch of stuff. Like one guy was um, Robert Wall. I've seen him in a sitcom. Uh, I can't re- recall exactly what it was. Never mind that. I just recognize this guy. The girl, actually, I'm looking at a photo right now. She was in the OC. She was this character I really disliked named Lindsay. OC fans will know Lindsay Lane. That was her mom. Got it. But she was young in this and she was... uh, You recognize her. She was all after him until she took one of his nine lives. Let's count through all the deaths we recall. Honestly, it was quite a bit. So it's hard to... Like, personally, it's hard for me to remember since... Yeah, but I remember the first one was drowning, and this one was like, I'm like, is he gonna come back to life? Is he not? And he actually like dies, so th- this is the first time they're witnessing it. And then everyone leaves the tent, they're like, oh, this guy's dead, you just killed, him. whatever. All these people, disgruntled customers, leave the tent, but sure enough, he comes back to life and gasps for air after being dead for a few minutes there. So drowning was the first one. I saw a bit of a flaw in that because everyone left the tent. They could have like swapped him out with a twin and put like a revived or alive twin in the tank. They did watch him die, but everyone was like, oh my God, he is back to life yet. No one witnessed the resurrection. I thought that was a bit of a flaw, but hey. Yeah, you're probably right. Whatever. Then there was, um, the the car crash wasn't the next one. No, um, there was. Ooh. Oh. And they were letting the people, like the crowd, the people in the crowd picking someone to actually pull the trigger for electrocution i know that you could kill a man back in the day some bow and arrow he hung himself hangman okay see i didn't remember that one they shot him through the heart you're right and there was a car so at one point he said i'm gonna kill the doctor yeah i don't know why he was mad at that scientist maybe he was taking his money or something probably taking a cut of it i would assume that's why he killed him because that part was a bit like confusing to me but either way he takes the doctor's own life out and in that it was a big car crash so he took one of his own lives yeah not not a good idea right because if you wanted an extra nine that was the only guy who knew how to do it just killed him without killing himself like right yeah anyways this obviously this hobo was not the sharpest knife in the drawer a girl then the girl took so he thinks he's getting down to his uh his last few lives he's planning a a trip a vacation he wants to stretch this part of his life out now he's in love with this girl or at least he's putting up with her his bunch of money that he's gotten from dying and doing this all this time his chick has another intention so she basically stabs him took the money and Adios. So now he has no money and he's short another life. And I think at this point, he thought that he had one or two left. No, two. He thought he had two left. Okay, so he would revive. One more time. Mm-hmm. 
So he, he goes up and he talks to the guy running the carnival saying, listen, I'm going all in here. Let's 10x my money. I'm taking the house. I'm taking all of it. And we're going to do something no one's ever seen before. You're going to bury me alive. This was the big finale. Um, so everything's in place to be executed for this big thing. And... Um, they're, they're both going to make a lot of money. He realizes once he is buried. Yeah, once it's already kicked off that, oh, shoot. When they put the stuff from the cat inside me, they killed the cat. So the cat lost a life. Yes. So that is one of the lives. So he actually had one less life than he thought. He had eight lives. So now this would be his final death. There's no reviving after this. And it's a bad way to go in a box. Oh my gosh, I think being buried alive was my biggest fear when I was a kid. Like I was actually at a phobia until my mom told me that doesn't happen in this day and age. Um, but back in the olden days, it used to happen. Yeah, they give you a bell. So you so could- So scary. Right, if you had like what? If you fell asleep or you had a concussion, then we might just bury you and then you'd ring the bell if you were still alive down there. Crazy. Spooky. Anyways, the episode ends sad like that. Yeah. He never gets out of the box. What is he, suffocate or how do you die in the box? Is it starvation? It oxygen, yeah. There's only so much oxygen in a casket, so it's... I guess that's better than... Uh, yeah being eaten by rats or something. So that's how your man went. And uh, well, that wrapped up the episode. Now, listen, we haven't watched it about three or four weeks because we had to refilm this episode, but uh, it was one of our favorites. It's one of the best ones we thought of this so far going through the first season. Yeah, it was good. Um, well, what was your rating you gave it? Um, I actually can't remember what I rated it, but I guess it doesn't matter now. I think that I would rate that one um, a 6.5. I would say 6.5 only because I I feel like there's a few coming up that I really like. But I did love the freak show circus theme. And I thought the idea for this one was actually really original. It was super cool. I've never had that, that premise before. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, it was one of the better ones. I was putting it at, I think, a 7.5. Really enjoyed it. Loved seeing this guy, this actor who I know, but you're seeing him, you know, maybe in his late twenties and, uh, yeah, obviously the carnival thing's great. Nine lives at the end. I was surprised. I didn't see this coming. Uh, we got our, our man, the crypt keeper there doing something with a cat. If I, if I can recall correctly, was it, did he taxidermy or something? So, uh, all good stuff, all good elements, but so much more to come again. We apologize that we're a little rusty on this one because we had to refilm it and we haven't watched it as recent, but the next episode we dropped we have and we only filmed it once and yeah, uh, we were really into that one. A good one really good episode mm -hmm. so thanks for tuning into this on our personal channel the McCruddens we're trying to keep up to date with you guys we got so much stuff going on with our basement our basement just flooded that was a that was a shit show they might want to see a video on that I did one on the channel oh, okay see crazy anyways guys thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you guys in another Tales from the Crypt video bye bye